Yo guys, Gluten Free EDC here. I'm Brian, your gluten sensitive representative. All right guys, buckle up, cause I've got quite the unboxing. I'm gonna just start tearing into this thing. As usual, thanks to Ke Ev over at Knife Ninja EDC on Instagram. Thanks buddy for the petite Philippe Georget. Designed knife by Boker. Just trying to dive into this guy. I do see another address. All right, let's just go in. Yeah, not messing around. Flip this over. Avoid that address label. Come on, man like basically uh, got this nice snug in there. my goodness all right let's hop on in got some tape right here i think that's really it right now. all right so this unboxing comes by way of steve thank you steve as always man you're the man dude sending me some cool cool knives we're gonna straighten that back out. All right, first thing in. All right, we got the Ace case. Oftentimes you see this with custom makers. They'll use this really nice case made by Ace. It's literally called the Ace case. I have this on a few knives. I wanna say maybe Utzler. I forget who else I've seen with this. We'll dive on into this first. <laughs> I called it. Oh my goodness, guys. The duckling. <laughs> it is nice to see this knife. So funny enough, I am the reason Steve has this knife. I used to have this in my possession. This is the duckling Hornet's Nest Damascus Blade, Titanium Handles, Koa Insert, Dark Tie Pocket Clip, and Zerk Backspacer, Zerk Pivot Collars, Zerk Thumb Studs. This thing is wild. Utzler, custom knives, guys. Cody Utzler is killing it. You can see his Gmail, his Instagram. He's got a website as well that he drops his knives on check him out ah so the crazy thing about <laughs> let's just quick go over this guys oh this is so cool to have back man steve thank you i forgot how unbelievably gorgeous jeez the action on this i forgot how unbelievably gorgeous this thing is once again that from the case i think that was oh my goodness oh Ah, <laughs> man, dude. Jeez. Okay, so let's quick go over this knife. I'll have a full review on this knife later on, guys. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous blade. I mean, come on. This thing just screams beautiful. Ah. So really cool Damascus. Super deep etch on this one. You can feel the etching, really, really unique pattern there. I mean, come on, look at that. <laughs> it's so cool to have this back. I <clears throat> excuse me, I believe this was an auction win, maybe 2020, 2021. My buddy got it and then sold it to me. So you can see really cool thumb studs that Utzler does, that Cody's doing. These Koa oh, inlays, the way the body frame works into the pivot collar. Oh, the ergos on this thing are just fantastic. I love this knife. That sick pocket clip, Zurich Heavy, that makes it all gray like that. Oh my goodness, guys. Whew. Well, this is going to be hard to beat. Let's see what else we got in the box. I felt multiple items. Oh, what is going on here? 
like a little, I don't even know. This is the Tecna Micro Knife. Uh, okay. Um, I don't want to like stab myself. What are you, is this a button? Oh, oh my God, dude. This fired out. <laughs> How do you like, oh, oh, but your hands are protected. Wow, that's wild. I, all right, that is wild. This is a tiny little knife. So it, the actuator is this little button down here. It's got a plastic clip up here. I don't know how I feel about that because that is very flexible. The whole thing kind of seems like it's made out of maybe aluminum, maybe stainless, just very thin if so. And then bam, <laughs> oh my goodness. So what's happening is the blade is actually just staying out there. It's this sheath or protector that's firing back in. So the sheath is just feels like plastic. So there's no weight to that. So you can get that back in in a heartbeat. You can see it's kind of when I depress the button kind of pokes up a little. So you've got this dagger style blade. It doesn't feel the sharpest, but I bet a decent stropping. Oh, it's so I think it's a bit of a hollow grind on both sides. Wouldn't make, but I don't know that they got um, the best grind on it to make it too sharp. I bet a good stropping though could put help the secondary bevel out. And then you've got these serrations. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I can run my finger along those, no worries. I'm gonna be crazy, yeah. It's not the sharpest knife. Maybe you could help it out with some stropping. Maybe not. And then you just lift that back up. It's a, it's a nifty knife. Uh, probably wouldn't snag one of these, but this is, this is awesome to see. Uh, that like scares me every time. <laughs> so really cool knife though. Thank you, Steve, for sending that one along. Jeez, man. It, like, so it's, Again, the blade's not coming out. The blade's already out. You just, the little sheet comes back into here. We're gonna close that up then, for safety. Dang. All right, is that it? All righty. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, what did you send me, dude? All right, put this off. Uh, cool case. You got some skulls with like fire eyes, demon eyes going on there. That was cool. It's heavy. Whatever's in here is heavy. I wouldn't be surprised. Like there's two knives even. What is going on? Holy crap, dude, dude. <laughs> All right, I totally forget the maker of this one i remember when he when my buddy told me he was gonna buy this thing he had said you know this knife is huge and seeing the pictures and the videos of it yeah it totally looked big all right radio silence had to grab this i know this knife and i want to have a little something something to clean it up just in case okay again i forget the maker on this one i'll edit that in but oh my goodness so i assume by the coloration this is moku tie because i know you can get more of like that coppery look i believe moku tie has something in it that allows it to even rust Maybe, maybe copper. I'm, I'm not really not familiar with that material as much, but man, it's gorgeous. Look at this huge pocket clip. Like, I mean, come on, the duckling. <laughs> it's a three inch knife versus this beast. 
<laughs> this thing's huge. All right, let's just open it up. Cause like, come on, I have to. Can I even like get this on camera? Let's do it like. <laughs> oh, dude. Guys, did you hear it sing? Holy crap. Look at this secondary bevel on this. Like it's wild. Oh my goodness. All right. I have the microfiber here. So it's polished. And I mean, like, I can see, you could see my face. Hello, look up my nose. <laughs> this, this thing's gigantic. I think it might be like almost as big as like the entire duckling. Nah, no, not, not that big, but it's huge. This is a huge knife. Oh my goodness. I mean, I gotta get the ruler out for this guy. So we're looking at a four inch blade with a three and a half inch cutting edge. <laughs> An overall length of nine and a half inches, just shy of nine and a half inches, guys. This is a beefy boy. It's big, crazy over travel. I'll definitely be doing a cool, whoa, dude, the drop. I kind of assumed it was going to be a like guillotine, like just fly shut, but it's really controlled. All right. So listen to the ting. Like this thing sings when it opens. It's like the angels are opening up the sky for us. <laughs> I don't know if that's coming through. And then, oh, nice control drop. That's really nice to see. One more time, guys. I'm going to try and get my headphones up in there. Holy shit. All right, that's wild. Really cool flush pivot. We're not gonna go too crazy into it this time because I do want to do a review, guys. I'll try and include who the maker is in some text. Probably already gonna do that earlier in the video when I actually open this. Oh my goodness. Fully crowned spine and cool jimping. I hope that ting is coming through because that's wild. Like, I've never experienced a knife that sings <laughs> the way that that does. Oh, baby. And it's super thin. You got the hollow grind here and then just a wild secondary bevel. Oh, my goodness. We'll dive into this more for sure in a review. I'll have some craziness. But geez, Steve, this is a, this is a knife. Still love the duckling, man. Oh, my goodness. And really cool knife to send along to. Thank you, man. Everybody, hope you enjoyed this wild, wild unboxing. We're going to have some cool reviews up of this and this. Maybe I'll throw a short up of that. But, I mean, <laughs> jeez. And, I mean, this is a gorgeous knife unto itself, too. I love this knife. So cool to see it back. All right, guys. It's been real. I will catch up with you guys later. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day or evening. Take care.